I'm sharing my haul of Charvin oil paints from Paris today and I thought I'd first show you what I did with them. So I painted that and then I painted this on some old vintage ledger paper that I've had forever. I bought it from an Etsy store years ago. And oh my goodness, I'm loving oil paints. Now they're not dry. <laughs> it's been about a week. So I have them hanging in the studio till they get dry. So now I'll share my haul with you. Hi everybody, it is Saturday afternoon and I thought I would do an unboxing for you today. I have had this box since Monday and I haven't dove into it. I got this far. So I am going to open it today. I invested in some Charbon Paris uh, oils, oil water, oil colors, not oil watercolors, oil colors. So I went to Hobby Lobby today and bought me a little doohickey to organize them in, which I'm excited about. I've been taking Wendy Brightbill's class, and so I have been working on that. So we'll get that out of the way, and I'm just going to pull all this stuff out, and we will open it up and see what we have. I am so excited about this. I spent about 150 bucks, I think, on getting started in all of this, which was kind of exciting. Now there's two um, qualities. There's the fine artist, which are a lot more expensive in this um, brand, but I did get those. I just got the Charvin brand. Oh, you can get a hundred dollar wine voucher. That'd be great if I drank. So let's open up these boxes and see what's in them. I'm praying I'm in frame all here. Church bells were just ringing. Okay, so let's open up these goodies. This is from Jerry's Artorama. They had their 50 year anniversary sale and I think it's still going on the rest of this week. Uh, this one is intense pink. Oh, that's so gorgeous. I am so excited to get into these. So excited. My grandmother was an amazing um, oil painter. She painted Indians and these Indians, it was like they followed you across the room with their eyes. It, she was just, she was amazing. I remember her easel all set up and walking in there and the smell of those oil paints. That, that was a, a kid memory. Medium French yellow. So we're going to line these all up. Party, party. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you why this box has been sitting since Monday because I got sick with the flu on Tuesday. Coral, I haven't been that sick probably in 20 years with the flu. I tell you what, I wanted to die. Absolutely wanted to die. I said, Lord, take me now. Light Viridian. Oh, just look at those yummy colors together. This is gonna be so fun. So fun, so fun, so fun. Ruby Red. And then when I get good, I'll invest in the more expensive ones. But for now, just starting out, I, I wanted to start out with this. Intense turquoise. I tried to get me a good selection. And titanium white. Boy, that doesn't look very white. That's interesting. Not like my titanium white watercolor. Ooh, this one's intense blue. I didn't realize these things were this big. In fact, when I heard that the box was eight pounds, I'm like, eight pounds? I was expecting it would be half this size. Uh, chromium oxide green. And I tried to get a, a good selection of where I could mix colors too. Cobalt violet light hue. I love cobalt violet in my watercolors, so I kind of figured I might like it in the oils. Oh, look at this one. This was an, is intense violet. And then this one is absinthe, absinthe, is that how you say it? Green, absinthe green. And then you got to pick a free gift. They had three different ones to choose from. So I picked, 
I love the um, Faber-Castell pit pens. So this was in shades of gray. So that's going to be fun. And then I received their 50th anniversary pin. So that is my unboxing. So I just figured I would, you know, put them in. Um, I'd line them out in here so that they're. And then when I get little ones, you know, I can put the little ones um, in here with it too. There'll be enough room. So maybe the pinks and purples together and the greens. And then, well, actually, I'll put my warm colors over here. And maybe we'll put the white over there. So yeah, so that way I can just take it out to the terrace when I want to paint. And that'll work great. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to put some of my... Um, acrylics in here with it too. I'm kind of contemplating on that. And then I got me today from Hobby Lobby some brush cleaner and restore for oil and acrylic paints. So there you have it. So hopefully I'll have some some work to show you. Um, I am spending the rest of the day, or this is the plan anyway, in my studio and I'm gonna paint and I'm gonna play. I hope you all are having a fantastic Saturday. Uh, click the subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos and I so appreciate you taking the time to watch. You guys have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.